So, looks like I'll be building myself a keyser. This is a 5.5 uh, cubic foot Danby. I found on Kijiji for uh, quite a decent price. Um, it's about the only thing I found that was a decent price for this thing. So the idea is to build, basically we're going to be taking the, uh, the lid off here and uh, building a collar about 10 inches or so so that we can fit an extra keg on the uh, compressor lip here. And that way uh, yeah, I'll be able to have uh, three taps in this tiny little fridge or freezer rather. That's my CO2 tank. I'm happy to see. I just picked that up today. Uh, it's a 10 pounder and uh, it's new to me but used. It used to be a, a fire extinguisher. Uh, yeah, so as you can see by the uh, cutouts there, which uh, represent the kegs that I do not have yet, um, we should be good. We should be okay. Now, uh, my collar will be made of uh, the inside, it's going to be made of pine, so a uh, a piece of 2x10, uh, 2x10 and pretty long right now, but that'll go all around. So that should be good. And on the uh, right we've got some uh, oak, which I'm going to put two straps one on top of the other and that'll be the outer the outer collar. And we'll stain that and we'll try to make it pretty. So should be interesting. Now with a long piece of wood like this, I needed a nice tool to, to help me out. So went and rented a, uh, a miter saw from Home Depot. Now this, I have to say, it makes me feel like a man. All right, so I made my first cut. Seems to uh, seems to have come out pretty good. So first time using the uh, miter saw here. I still have all my all my members, all my fingers as well. So I figured I'd uh, give it a kick at the can for uh, the video here. So there you have it. Alright, I'm going to be taking the uh, the freezer lid off of uh, my freezer. One thing uh, that was mentioned in uh, some of the videos is before taking the, uh, the screws out there, um, make sure you put something in between here that um, goes all the way to prevent the uh, or prevent the the, this, this major spring from spring loading the entire bracket into your face, um, which uh, I would imagine is unpleasant. Yeah, so I'm taking the uh, the lid off to see how my how my inner collar pieces will uh, will fit to get an idea of how long my uh, side inner collar pieces need to be. All right, so finally that wasn't that bad. The um, the spring did not did not uh, catch actually, and it didn't spring in my face. Uh, the nice thing is that these latches kind of, it kind of if you let it go, kind of stays there. But you know that nail in there is uh, definitely some good protection in case it did uh, spring forward. And I mean it's not really that uh, with the nail in there. It's uh, it seems to be pretty good. So that was a good idea. The uh, the little black cover. On the second one was quite uh, was quite glued on there, so I needed to pry it open a bit with the uh, the Black and Decker, which is exactly what that it was designed to do, or not. Alrighty, now that we have the inner collar cut, we're going to fasten it with these 90 degree angle brackets to hold it together. Alrighty, so the inner collar is put together. Um, I have a and I've gotten the wrong type of screws for this type of getup. Uh, of course, I had asked the guy at Home Depot what he thought, and he said uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, kind of sticking out in a funny way that uh, I don't think is by design. All that to say, uh, I myself uh, don't quite know what I'm doing, therefore must rely on the good faith of others to tell me what is right and wrong. But 
in this special case, it won't really matter since we're going to be putting some uh, insulation, some bubble wrap insulation around that, according to a, uh, a smart friend of mine who happens to be a uh, civil engineering technologist. Uh, wood does not have a very good insulation factor, so we don't want to be losing any of our coldness to the outside air. So, yeah.